Hi guys! We'll talk about the effective teacher or coach. Okay? Let's talk about how to become an effective teacher. And to become an effective teacher, you should have a good control of the students. Make sure that you instill discipline inside the classroom. Because um, especially when you are um, teaching young kids, they are very playful and they tend to, sometimes they, they fight inside the classroom, they push each other, so you should have a good control of the, the classroom. Okay, next, the teacher or the coach should touch lives. You give motivational speeches or comments. You give you give love by teaching the students the right way you know, to be a good to be a good person, or the best person they can be. As a teacher. You are a manager. You have to be a good manager. You have to go there prepared. Hindi pwedeng you will just go to the classroom without a lesson plan or an activity activity for the students because it will be really boring for the students if you don't have an activity for them. Okay. Next. You should, as a teacher or a coach, when you teach sports, for example, you teach tennis, of course, you will not just get somebody who is really good in tennis. You should, as a teacher, you should also be a good tennis player so that you can demonstrate to the students how to play well or how to do tennis, how to play tennis. You should teach your students to cooperate well, especially in sports. Because if they will not cooperate 100%, somebody might get injured. Especially when you are teaching archery, tennis, boxing, you have to instill discipline and cooperation. Okay, next. You should be a... Um, as a coach, you should have a goal. And also your students should have a goal. You ask them, what are your goals in life? Huh? Your athletes, if their goal in life is to be one of the best tennis players or basketball players in the world, you should instill, you, know, you should teach the students to listen well, understand, cooperate, and to do all the tasks given to them. And when the students listen to you, or maybe cooperate with you, 100%, they will become one of the best in the world. Okay? So... A teacher or a coach should have a passion. When you coach, when you when you teach the students, you should not look at the time or maybe you should focus as a coach. You should focus to the to the activities, you know, to the activities that you gave to the students. You should analyze well how they move as athletes. They should learn also how to be flexible. You know? Of course, the teacher should be flexible and adaptable. 
because you deal with kids and you deal with different different kids girls boys um sometimes those athletes that there are athletes who lives in a village in a good house in a good place subdivision and some of the athletes uh, other athletes are not that rich so as a coach you have to be flexible you should understand why these kids are are different from the other kids in the subdivision as a coach even the students no? the coach and the students should be good listeners when you listen when you listen well it will be easier for the for the coach to teach you vice versa if the the coach is also a good listener all the problems of the students all the 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 problems yeah problems of the students or athletes will be will be analyzed well by the the coach and it will be easier for the teacher or the coach to manage the whole class so you should work hand in hand as coaches and teachers and or coaches and students sorry okay so as a teacher you should understand well how to deal with with different attitudes of students or athletes it is really hard especially in the public school most of your students are um are poor but they are really into it they 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 want to to show the world their talents and ambitions in life so as a teacher or a coach you should also be a good researcher research about how to deal with different attitude of student may god bless you and your family sana may natutunan kayo dito sa simple lesson to about effectiveness of a teacher or coach thank you po maraming salamat Pwede po ito ulit-ulitin para mas maintindihan niyo. Uulitin natin. The teacher should be in good control, affects and touches lives, a good manager, he should be cooperative. The teacher should also design um, a program and he should master it. The teacher should, or the coach should have a goal for his students. The teacher should have the passion. Coach, no? Coach or teacher. There should be passion. Love for this, for, for teaching. The teacher should be flexible and adaptable. Okay? Remember, you're gonna deal with different people different students okay remember you, you should be a good listener as a teacher as a coach be a good listener understand the situation and what's happening inside the classroom and lastly you should also be a good researcher especially when you're teaching different sports there are different tactics or techniques in teaching sports. Okay, so 
May God bless you and your family. Bye.